Today, quit him fucked up. When I was younger, I decided that I wanted a hamster. I don't really know why, it could have just been that I watched a little too much Hamtaro, or it could have been that I was lonely and our dog's companionship just didn't cut it. Regardless, we ended up buying two dwarf hamsters, one for myself and another for my brother. We kept them in the same cage and played with them when we could. Our, our dog killed them. We'd apparently not learned our lesson from last time and bought two more hamsters. Now at that age, I had not yet acquired the skill to discern the difference between male and female hamster genitalia. We accidentally bought a male and female hamster. They rested a lot and all of a sudden there were more hamsters in our cage. We decided to get a large fish tank to hold all of them. With all that extra room, the hamsters thought it would be okay to procreate more and more. It ended up being that we had about 40 hamsters in the cage. Now there, there was one hamster, let's call him Teddy for anonymity, that did not get along with the others. Anytime the other hamsters saw Teddy, they just attacked. For this reason, we kept him separately in the old cage. With all the hamsters in a glass tank, we had to clean everything fairly regularly. On one rather routine cleaning, I, I screwed up. Big time. I did what I always did. I placed the hamsters in a few buckets, cleaned the tank, placed in new wood chips, and returned the hamsters to once they came. That afternoon, all the hamsters were dead. I didn't know why at first, but I soon realized that my mother had used the hamster buckets to bleach the floors. I didn't check the buckets beforehand, so there must have been some residual bleach in them. This was the only conclusion I could come to. That said, even if it didn't kill them, that was my fault for keeping all the hamsters so close to each other that a disease could have spread and killed them all. Then there was Teddy, the one hamster hated by all other hamsters. Back then, I thought that the death of the other hamsters was justified in a way due to their treatment of Teddy. Teddy ended up living a happy life. He didn't even have any teenage angst about how his entire family was killed in a single afternoon by a creature he probably considered a god. Teddy was a good, ignorant hamster until the day he died. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. If you want to watch more videos about stories from the subreddit R Today I Fucked Up, click them in the top right corner. If you want to watch a video that has nothing to do with my channel whatsoever and you want to click it anyway because, hey, what, what's, what's this? Click in the bottom left corner. And if you want to buy shirts and shit, click them in the top left corner. Thank you. Get out of here.